Today, I've got special permission to visit an aeroplane hangar and look inside a plane. It's a bit like a car park for aeroplanes. And that one is absolutely huge. The area where the passengers sit is called the cabin, and the place where the pilots sit is over there. Come on, let's go take a look. Wow! This is the cockpit, and all of these buttons, dials and lights, they're the instruments that help the pilot to fly the plane. There are so many of them, aren't there? <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm sat in the captain's seat. These levers here are called the thrust levers, and they make the plane go faster or slower. And this here is called the side stick. This turns the plane left or right, up or down. And if the pilot needs to move the plane when it's on the ground or stop it, they'll use these foot pedals down here. It all looks really complicated, doesn't it? To find out how an aeroplane takes off and lands, I think we need a closer look. When the aeroplane is ready to take off, the pilot pushes the thrust levers forward, making the engine speed up. The aeroplane travels faster and faster along the runway. The wings have a special curved shape called an aerofoil. The air that flows over the top of the wing moves faster than the air which moves underneath the wing. And this creates a force called lift. The lift helps the aeroplane up and off the ground. To land the aeroplane, the pilot pushes the side stick forward, which tilts the elevator on the back of the aeroplane down. This makes the nose of the plane point downwards. The pilot moves the thrust levers back. This slows down the engines. Flaps on the wings are then flicked up to slow down the air that's flowing over the wings. The wheels are put into position, and when the plane lands on the runway, the pilot presses the brakes and the plane comes to a stop. This is where pilots come to practice flying aeroplanes. But can you see any aeroplanes? Pilots learn to fly in these pods called flight simulators. They look just like the cockpits on real planes, but these ones are just for practice. Now this is the really fun part. I get to join Bridget, a pilot, and watch her practice at takeoff and landing. <laughs> the windows are actually video screens to show us what flying the plane would look like in real life. OK, Bridget, we're ready for takeoff. The first thing Bridget does is push the thrust levers forward, and that powers the engines, which make the plane move forward and get faster and faster. Here we go. You can hear the engines. We're getting faster and faster, and when the time is right, Bridget pulls back on the side stick, and that lifts the nose of the plane into the air. And here we go. We're taking off into the air. It feels like we're actually flying. I'm wearing my special head camera so you can see what the pilot sees when they're landing a plane. Wow, we are so high up. When the plane is in the sky, Bridget uses the side stick to turn the plane to the left or to the right, up or down. But right now, we're getting ready to land. Here we go. Bridget gently pushes the side stick forward to make the elevator at the back of the plane tilt down, which makes the nose of the plane dip down. The houses on the ground are getting bigger and bigger, which means the plane is getting lower and lower to the ground. Ooh. We're getting closer. 
now Bridget is pulling the thrust lever backwards and that will slow the power to the engines which slows the plane down and then Bridget uses the foot pedals that will break and slow down the plane on the ground. And we've landed. That was brilliant. I loved seeing how an aeroplane takes off and lands. What was your favourite bit about finding out how an aeroplane works? Do you remember what the lever was called that steers the aeroplane? That's right, it's called a side stick. Did you hear the sound in the simulator when the engine started to speed up? And did you see all those buttons and levers in the aeroplane cockpit? 